This is not a random strategy or motivational video. This is a story. A story which will clear all your doubts and will guide you in your need journey and at the same time addresses most of your problems. This is a story of a second year MBBS student at IGIMS Patna reliving a neat aspirant's life but this time all the mistakes corrected. Hey everyone, this is Zaid Mumtaz, second year MBBS student at IGMS Patna and in this video we are going to discuss most of the peculiar problems which need aspirant actually go through during this period of time which we are going through. So it's my responsibility to actually cater all those questions and give a solution to you to that to those questions. So the first thing which we are going to fix over here is the sleep schedule drama which goes on during this period of time. And most of the students are worried that we can't wake up early in the morning and we can't study the whole day because of the guilt that we couldn't wake up early in the morning. So the thing here is the solution over here is which I am going to give you is just fix the time duration for which you are going to sleep and not the time which you are going to bed or you are going to wake up. By this what I mean is fix the time duration for which you are sleeping. And the ideal time duration for your sleep should be 5 to 6 hours during this period of time and not more than that and definitely not less than this duration. So for example, if you tell me that I sleep at 4 a.m. in the morning, okay, sleep 4 a.m. in the morning, but wake up by 10 and keep in mind, once you wake up, you put every second of your time every second of your time in your work you study like a focused machine and don't let yourself be distracted by any other distraction you just get up from your seat when you have to have your lunch or your dinner or your evening snacks but don't distract yourself by anything extra you work the moment you wake up you work literally like hell you invest your 14 to 16 hours daily in your studies and you are not distracted that actually if if anyone says to you that you should wake up early in the morning and you should go to bed early at night so okay keep your suggestion to yourself but i'll do what suits me if i can wake up uh, at 10 a.m in the morning by going to sleep at 4 a.m in the morning it doesn't matter and i work like 14 to 16 hours daily so it doesn't matter at what time you're going to sleep but you the moment you wake up you work literally like hell and this is not just what i am saying this is one of the most famous bollywood stars has also said listen to him main 5 ghante sota hu aur jab jagta hu to kya jagta hu lekin 5 ghante sota hu main aur i like that anything longer than that gives me headaches and makes me feel puffy and strange ki agar aapko successful banna hai kamyab banna hai to ye do char cheeze hain jo aapko nahi karni so if it has worked for him it works for most of the people, it works for me as well. So it's most probably going to work for you as well. So don't limit yourself by these boundaries, these chains which are made by some motivational gurus. Just focus on your studies and try to invest all the time you are awake in your studies and not these things. And go to bed at any time you want, be it 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. But keep in mind you are sleeping for only the fixed period of time and not more than that or less than that. The second thing uh, which most aspirants struggles with is where to start. Like bhaiya, where I can start revising my syllabus or for that matter of fact where I can, uh, from where should I start my syllabus, even studying my syllabus or revising my syllabus. So the solution to this, the bullshit guide which you get online or the pookie way is uh, actually list all the chapters that are coming in need and then allot them into three categories easy moderate or tough and then allot your hard work in it like prepared not prepared or very well prepared and then start studying accordingly don't don't do this. You will fail miserably by doing this because there is no structured plan or way to go about it. 
you can allot any category like prepared very well known chapter but you won't complete your syllabus with this you will not be able to complete your syllabus with this the better or smarter way or the way which will actually complete your syllabus and uh, benefit you in return is get a test series get any test series either offline or online better one will be offline and even a year or two years old test series will work most of the people are like stuck that they can't buy test series because they are expensive their dlp courses are expensive don't buy them buy a year old test series most of the time the pdfs are available on telegram or you can get these test series printed form in your city also like for patna it is gandhi medan where you can get these test series uh, like hard copy available the bookkeepers they have these hard copies with them or you can get any pdf uh, online on telegram or any test series which is a year old i used it myself i used old test series but trust me the content which we they provide and like for test series they provide in 2023 was 90 to 95% similar which was which was given in 2022 so the thing which matters over here is you should get a test series so i got these test series from offline market and they were actually a year older but it doesn't matter you can get them from a any offline bookstore or any stall they actually provide you with this or even they can provide you with pdf you can get it printed and you can solve it at home also uh, well, this is what i did so for example i have taken out two papers over here like you can see it i gave my neat in 2023 but these papers are like for 2022 your target is to go to rank in pre medical 2022 but i gave my neat in 2023 i used the older test series and it doesn't matter at all so you can see the date over here it's test 5 5 9 and 2021 so it doesn't matter in long run which ever test series and it should not be older than 2 uh, years you can use 1 to 2 years old test series it doesn't matter so the way you should start is you should actually have all the test series with you all the test papers with you like from day 1 to day last you have all the test series with you prepared now what you have to do is actually open your test series and oh my god this should not give me a copyright on this here okay the test series which i used uh, i have said it clearly i used allen and akash combined i used allen leader test series and also at the last moment i used akash final test series also and also the aiats i used to give them also like totally combined i have given a lot of tests from different coaching institutes but the majorly what i have used is allen and akash so let's start the video now uh, the moment you have got your test series done you should see the syllabus or you should the see the planner which they give you as well so over here like we have work energy power circular motion magnetic effect of current and magnetism so as he karke there are all the chapters given in the schedule which they provide to you or you can get them online a lot these chapters to your time like the days you are left with and a lot days according to these chapters like uh, unit test 4 i'm going to allot this uh, week time so every chapter which is going to come in this test which uh, this test is going to test me for i am going to prepare those chapter in a week and by this i mean you are not focusing on a daily basis that what you have to study today but you are actually allotting yourself a week time or the time you are left with actually divide it into the number of test series you have like for example if you are left with 80 days you have left with 60 days and you have 10 days uh, 10 test series with you then divide the number of days by the test series you have so if you are left with 60 days divided by 10 you have 6 days for each test you have 6 days to prepare for each test and most of the time what you know and i also know is the chapters which come early in the test series are we are actually always prepared for them so the time which you are left in the starting phase you can invest it uh, for the next test which you are going to have on the 
12th day you have uh, approximately 10 tests with you so you are going to divide 60 by 10 so you are going to have six days for each test and you have to complete that syllabus the test syllabus in those six days and give the test on that sixth day and just analyze your mistakes and you are good to go and by this method this smarter move you are going to complete your syllabus and trust this process you are not going to fail. fast as possible and try to correct them and analyze them as fast as possible because you are not having that much time right now you have two to two and a half months left for neat so you have to commit those mistakes which uh, normally you should have committed two years in long run but you can do it you should identify your mistake you should analyze it and by analyzing i never mean just revising what you have committed mistaken but you have to solve at least 5 to 10 questions or MCQs or any type of question which you have committed mistake in. At least solve 5 to 10 questions from that topic as well. And by that, you are going to remember it for a long run. And that's what we need right now. We can't afford revising the same thing again and again and uh, for the rest period of time we have to cover our syllabus as well. We have to analyze our mistakes as well and we have to compete also the next thing which i'm gonna discuss over here is stop worrying about your worldly problems right now right now you many of you guys might be having problems like your family problems and many of you might be going through a breakup or any relationship problem or you might have money problem or any health issues right now so the first thing if you are having any family related problem like your parents don't trust on you like uh, there's relatives who always tease you with uh, those remarks and if you are struggling with these problems the best solution right now is to ignore them let me explain it if you are going to make yourself uh, make a point if you're going to explain yourself if you try to explain yourself you're eventually going to waste your time in that because no one is going to understand you right now and trust me, once you crack this exam, everyone's gonna listen to you, everyone's gonna get easy on you. So, the first thing, if you try to explain them, you're gonna waste your time. And if you let these remarks, these things, these thoughts burden yourself with these thoughts, then you are going to eventually fail in your exam. So, the best thing over here is avoid getting into this and avoid getting these thoughts into your mind right now have a stable mind, do your preparation, crack your exam and everything, these family related problems are gonna get solved. So the best thing over here is to ignore it. The second problem which you and you guys encounter and I get these comments on a daily basis or most of my DMs are filled with this, like Bhaiya, I have this relationship issue, I have had my breakup this year, how I should prepare. So guys, listen to me clearly. You can only impress someone when they are already impressed by you. You cannot force anyone to love you or like you or anything else. If they are already impressed by you, they are going to get to you. But if they are not, they are not coming to you. So don't waste your time in that. Don't let those thoughts again burden you and your need preparation. You're going to spoil your need preparation. You are going to spoil your whole year for this, for that person. So don't do that. If someone has left you, okay, let them go. Get this reality check that they were not worthy to have you, to have them in your life and just move ahead. And one thing like... Uh, Great senior of mine has told me, उन्होंने ये बताया था कि अगर कोई आपसे हाथ छुड़ा के जाने लगे, तो वो पहले ही जा चुका होता है, ठीक है? वो बस अब आपको दिख रहा है, लेकिन वो जा पहले ही चुका होता है। So आप उस चीज को please ignore कीजिए and अपनी पढ़ाई कीजिए। Don't let those thoughts and that person ruin your preparation, your need preparation. So actually be focused and don't distract yourself. Third thing is uh, many of you guys might have money problems. So again, for this thing, you should focus on your exam right now. 
don't try to make money right now like you have left with only two and a half to three months if you are working that's it's fine you should adjust your work according to your study schedule but if you are thinking of making money right now like a side income it's not the time right time right now to make any side income you should wait for two and a half like anyhow you should wait for two and a half to three months it's left for need just give your exam then you will have ample of time to start making money so think about it after the exam don't think about it right now the fourth thing is you might have a health issue with you and for that i can just pray for you that god give you good health and you can prepare for your neat exam and give that exam at time the moment you are going to have your exam you are well and any checkup you are going through you should go through it and be kind on your health also don't force yourself too much and don't pressurize your mental health too much with this exam this is just exam this is not your destination this is a journey so treat it like that only the next thing is just remove this word no from your dictionary matlab ki remove this word nahi hoga aisa koi scene hi nahi hai just tell yourself main kabhi nahi harta main kabhi nahi harti theek whenever you feel low in your preparation or in your journey this time is very crucial for you just say to yourself main kabhi nahi harta ya main kabhi nahi harti on a loop like you listen to a music on spotify on a loop just like that say this on a loop and this is not uh, something i am saying for motivation or anything like that it plays a very crucial role in selection also like you are you have to have this mindset to win against those 25 like aspirants you are competing with so you have to have this mindset and the moment you have this mindset of mai kabhi nahi harta ya mai kabhi nahi harti and nahi hoga aisa koi scene hi nahi hai and you remove word no from your dictionary is the time you become unstoppable in your need preparation so this was all for this video guys and if you have benefited from this video share it to your friends and so they can also start their need journey or they can improve the journey they are going through and if you want any personal guidance or any coaching like that stuff you can contact me on my telegram id which is mentioned over your screen or you can mail me at this email id so catch you next time with another new video which is going to help your preparation uh so till then start preparing and actually work very hard is the time this is the time you have to work very hard on yourself on your study and keep focused be focused and keep yourself undistracted and become indistractable in this period of time it's just two and a half months left for need work like hell give you a hundred percent right now and don't think it's not possible it's possible you have to just put in that effort that number of hours and you are good to go